Hello fellow teachers! If you're anything like me and love seeing your Google Classroom page come to life, a great way to do that is to customize your header. If you'd like to create customized, animated, and totally adorable Google Classroom header just like this one, then keep watching. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a animated GIF or GIF. I'm not really sure how you're supposed to pronounce that word, but um, how you can create one of those animated headers using Canva and Google Slides. So I'm going to be showing you how you can do that from scratch. Now, if you'd like to save yourself a few steps, I've actually shared a template of the animated header that I've used in my own classroom in the description box below. I'll also show you how you can use the template and kind of customize it a bit for your own classroom towards the end of this video. As usual, I also have timestamps in the description box in case you want to skip ahead. So the animated header that I've created has a more, I guess, simple or clean design, but you can still change it up and alter your message depending on your class. Go ahead and visit canva.com, which by the way, is an awesome website if you're into designing your own graphics. It provides so many amazing, uh, modern looking templates that you could work from. Um, and it even gives you templates for Google Classroom headers, presentations, infographics, posters, etc. I'm not a um, Photoshop expert by any means, so this website has been awesome in allowing me to create graphics that are customized um, from scratch. I highly recommend that you explore this website if you're into designing your own graphics. So. Once we're in Canva, we're gonna go ahead and click up here where it says create a design and we're gonna choose custom designs. And then you're gonna um, select inches and um, select 16 by four because these are the dimensions of a Google Classroom header. And then we're gonna click create design. And right away, you'll notice that Canva automatically suggests templates for you that would fit the dimensions that you've selected so it kind of knows that oh since you've chosen these dimensions you're probably looking for a header of some sort and it gives you so many template suggestions for um, things that could look good as a header so this is the design i ended up kind of settling on um, as you can see i've added several design elements that i actually got from this section right here so if you go to elements there's so many things that you could um, select from really um, cute adorable designs that you could add perhaps like if you if you taught um, science or taught ecology um, you could pull out elements that kind of match your classroom so let's Let's actually take a look at what other options are present. So you'll notice they have several elements that you could add that are school related, um, if you teach math, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And again, you can choose any elements that you would like and kind of um, either create this from scratch or use a template that's pre-existing and save yourself the hassle. So I actually want to add a photo of myself right here and you could either add your picture or your bitmoji, whatever you please. In order to do that, I'm going to add a um, photo element, I guess. So again, you go to elements and you can search either circle photo or square photo, whatever kind of border or I don't, I don't think you call it border, I guess layout that you want your photo to take the form of, like in terms of shape. And I'm going to go ahead and add that right here. And then you could um, insert, so you could actually insert an image by going to uploads right here and uploading an image from your desktop or from your computer. But I already have a few uploaded, so I'm just going to actually drag the photo that you want and drag it into the, um, the template that you just inserted. All right, and the next thing I want to do is I want to add... Um, Elements that I want to animate. So, of course, this is an interactive animated GIF banner, and therefore, I need some elements that I could that I would want to animate. I could have chosen to animate any of these elements, but I'm gonna add something else. So, I would like to have some stars. This one, for example. And by clicking up on the on the element that you've added, you can actually change the color of it. So I'm going to make a copy of this and change the color into yellow. Let's add one more. And I'm going to change this color to blue. Next, I want to add my text. 
Now keep in mind that on Google Classroom, there are pre-existing uh, text that's gonna exist on your header that might get in the way of things that you add. So make sure that any text or any major um, messages that you want to deliver to your students, make sure that they are, they are inserted in the middle right here because there's usually nothing written on top. All right, so in order to add text, you're gonna move to the left right here and you could choose um, any size text element that you'd like. And I'm gonna change this to welcome. And again, you can choose any message that you would like. Um, it could be the topic of the day, it could be the unit of the month, it could be any message that you'd like to give to your students. In order to change the size of the text, you could either highlight the text and click up here and change the, um, the size from these options, or you could simply drag the text until you get the desired size. The next thing I wanna add is a subheading and I wanna add a little message for my students. So welcome to Miss Faye's classroom. Again, I wanna change the size of this text, let's say to 32. And I also wanna change the font. So you can do that from up here and choose whatever font that you like. And honestly, they have so many font options on this website, it's just, Sometimes I'm amazed that a lot of these features are still available for free, like it's pretty awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change the color of the text and you could do that by simply highlighting when I, once again and clicking up here and changing it to the color that you'd like. I want this to be white, same with this. Oops, so I can highlight the text, click on the A and change the color. And if you want to select a different color from the um, besides the ones that are offered for you here in the templates, you can just click on this section and click on new color and you either pick a color from the gradient or even enter your hex code if you know uh, the code of the color that you'd like. All right, so once you have your elements nice or your design ready, um, now we're gonna start creating the different slides per, um, I don't know if they're called slides, but I'm just gonna call them slides. <laughs> so now you're gonna create the slides um, so that we can actually create the GIF or the animation. Okay, so this is kind of like my completed design after it went through some tweaking. And again, your design will look however you want it to look, style it however you feel matches your aesthetic and your classroom vibes. Now, in order to create your animation elements, I highly recommend that you start with your final design first and then work backwards. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Now that I have this entire element or this entire design ready, I'm going to create one copy of it. And you want to decide on which elements on this design you want to animate. For me, I want to animate the welcome and also I want to animate the stars. You're gonna use the same logic and you can apply it to any element that you would like to animate. The first thing you do is you create a copy of your original or final uh, design and then you want to remove one element. So whatever element you want to animate, you want to remove one of them. And since I'm animating both the text and the stars, I'm going to remove one star and one letter. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to create a copy and I'm going to, again, remove one letter and one star. And you keep doing that. Now at this point, I don't have any more stars to remove, so I'm just gonna remove letters. Okay, so once you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Now Canva does have a feature where you can download your designs as a GIF. However, you have to be a, um, you have to have a premium account or you have to have a paid membership in order for this feature to work. Um, they do offer a free trial, so you could actually sign up and take advantage of this feature. So let me show you a workaround for that. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna click up here and download your um, design as a PNG, and you wanna download all the pages. Click download, and it's going to download your designs as a zip folder. In the meantime, you're gonna go ahead and create a new slide presentation. Next, you wanna resize this presentation so that it is the same size as your Google Classroom heading. And in order to do that, you're gonna click on File, Page Setup. And instead of widescreen, we're gonna click on Custom and change the dimensions to match the header dimensions that we had inputted in Canva. So 16 by four inches, apply. 
And we don't need, really need these text elements, so we're gonna go ahead and delete them. And then what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be dragging the slides that I've created on Canva one by one into the uh, Google slide. And I'm gonna resize it so it kind of fits. Now you don't wanna leave any white borders behind or any white edges behind, so I'm gonna try to resize this as best as possible. There we go. Add a new slide and we're just gonna keep going adding the designs from Canva one by one. Now I know that this seems a bit labor intensive and you could totally design this directly on Google Slides. However, I feel with Google Slides, you're gonna be a bit limited to the type of elements that you can add to your header. Um, obviously there's plenty of tutorials out there where they show you how you could um, do this directly on slides and you could actually pull in elements from Google Images, you can pull in elements from Google Drawings, um, from the shapes and the text that are present up here and you can kind of um, create your own customized banner uh, or animated header for Google Slides. However, for me, I just felt like Canva provided more options to make this look a lot more, um, I guess, professional looking or streamlined and it's just like provided a lot more options in terms of things I can do to customize the banner itself. Okay, so once you have all the elements added to your slides, it will look something like this. And right away you can see that um, we can see the GIF or the GIF, however you wanna pronounce it. I keep forgetting how you're supposed to pronounce it, um, come to life. Now, in order to turn this Google slide presentation into an actual animation, um, there are some websites out there that um, create GIFs for you. Um, one of them is talltweets.com. However, I found this add-on that I felt was a lot easier to use and a lot more convenient because it's present or on Google Slides already. So it's called Creator Studio and you can um, get it by uh, clicking on Get Add-ons and searching for Creator Studio. However, I won't do that because I already have it downloaded. All right, so once you have the Creator Studio add-on launched, it's gonna look something like this and you want to change the pixels to 1,600, which will guarantee that it's looking super clear on your header on the Google Classroom page. And then you're going to select how fast or how slow you want your GIF to be animated. Um, I recommend either something between 0.2, which is gonna be super fast, up to 0.5. I tried to experiment with different um, intervals and it felt way too slow and it felt, um, it looked kind of weird with numbers that were higher than 0.5. So I'm gonna go with 0.5 two and we want to export it as an animated gif and we're going to click on go so once the add-on has finished doing its magic you're going to find a copy of your animated gif in your drive and let's take a look at how this turned out So there you go, um, it will look something like this. So you can go ahead and play around with this and kind of see how you would like to animate it um, depending on your classroom, um, which elements you want to move um, in your GIF. And once you have everything ready and uploaded, you can then use Creator Studio in order to turn it into an awesome looking GIF like this one. Now that we have our GIF ready, we're gonna go ahead and change our header. In order to do that, you first need to download this. So we're gonna go ahead and click on these three um, dots at the, at the top and click on download. And once it's downloaded, we're gonna click on upload image, select the photo or the file that you've just downloaded, resize it as you please, and finally select class theme. Now, one thing that I've noticed will happen is it's gonna look dulled out like this. Um, and unfortunately, there is no way we can fix that. This is something that is going to automatically be applied to any header that you add. So when you are choosing the colors for your customized header, keep in mind which colors you want to choose. So now that I've showed you how you can create the animated GIF from scratch, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can use my template, which I've included with this video. Now for this template, I've made it editable in terms of the message that you could add here. So you could actually edit this message. Of course, 
you could add your own picture or own bitmoji and in order to do that all you have to do is the following you're going to click on the image that i already have and you're going to right click okay and you're going to scroll down to where it says replace image and you're going to select either um, search from the web if you don't want to use your own picture and you want to get use something from the internet or you could choose drive if you want to upload your picture from the drive or upload from computer so i'm going to actually go ahead and do that and i'm going to choose my bitmoji and as you can see your image will be resized automatically and, and, and added to the border or the or, or the um, template that I already have provided for you. So once you have your name replaced here and you've added your own image, um, make sure you add it to all the slides. That's really and changing your name, make sure you change your name in all the slides. Um, that's about it. That's all you really have to change. Everything else is done for you in terms of the um, animation elements. And uh, from there, you're gonna do two things. Either you can file, download this, as um, as a JPEG or as a PNG image file, and you can use the website that I mentioned before, or you can download the add-on and then you can use Creator Studios just like I showed you in the previous example. It'll be the same. Um, it'll be the same uh, exact steps in terms of how you can then take this and turn it into an animated uh, GIF. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and have a great day.